Cooler Master's $200 MK850 feature with AIMPAD technology, which are basically pressure sensitive WASD keys. Right out of the box, for AIMPAD to work, it has to be calibrated. You think it helps? A lot. I won't be able to make these turns, honestly. For Overwatch to work, I had to go to Settings, Controls, Advanced, and then Force Keyboard Mouse User Interface. Uh, just having more control helped out, especially around corners. Like hearing someone next to the corner and peeking slowly, or changing the speed in general, mixing it up, definitely gave somewhat of an advantage in FPS. See Hanzo, you're running for me. Nice. 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 Yeah. I did find that turning aimpad on was kind of glitchy in Apex, but every other game that I tested worked. But that's something that they could hopefully fix in a future update. Here it is in slow motion. The RGB on this keyboard is amazing, it's actually a lot brighter than my previous keyboard which was HP Omen Sequencer and I had tested my brother's Razer Huntsman, but this by far probably has the best RGB. As far as like pros and cons, everything about the keyboard's premium. One thing I didn't like was it was lacking macros to open programs. My previous keyboard had that, you just pressed one button and it would open a program. It's not a big deal, but it's just something to keep note of. I also added HyperX Double Shot PBT keycaps. They were meant for a different keyboard, but they were too because these are Cherry MX switches. As far as how the mechanical switches sound, uh, here's a comparison between the popular Razer Huntsman. <laughs> he downshifted so much. Overall, it's a great keyboard, it's just, it takes some time to dial in the right settings for each and every game. Just having the ability to switch speeds during FPS games, you can switch it up and you go slow or fast. It's basically like half stepping, and it gives you sort of an advantage to dictate like what pace you'd like to move at. And that's definitely something cool in the keyboard, and props to Cooler Master for releasing this.